Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I showed you how to export a lip sync animation from audio to face to Unreal Engine for a metahuman character in the previous video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can fine tune the audio to face animation before exporting it and how you can edit the animation in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the parameters in the various sections of the audio to face pipeline. The pre-processing section might seem like something complex, but it is fairly simple. Prediction delay. Remember how you have watched some badly ripped movies online and find that the audio and video are not in sync? Well, prediction delay is here to eliminate just that. If for some reason you find that the animation is lagging or leading the audio, use this to slide it back into sync. Input strength. This slider lets you basically adjust the volume of the input audio. If your volume is originally too less, then you will not see too much movement in the lip sync animation. In that case, crank up the number to something more than 1 for your needs. In case it is too loud, drop it down. If you feel the volume is about right, let it remain at 1. Next up we have the post processing parameters, which I feel are the most important sliders here. Upper face smoothing. This applies to both the smoothing options and it basically smooths out the motion of that particular region of the face. If you have lower value of this slider, you are going to see more noise and vibration motions in your animation. If you have a higher number, it is going to smooth out the animation. Lower face smoothing, same as the above but for lower face region. Upper face strength. This slider controls how much movement occurs in that region based on the input. Higher value on this slider will induce larger motion in the animation while lower number will induce low or no motion to the animation. Lower face strength, same as the above but for the lower face region. But big mystic you ask, what exactly is the upper and lower face region? And I'm glad you asked. That is where the next two sliders come in. Face mask level. See this jacket boundary traveling across the face mesh? This is the demarcation boundary of the lower and upper face regions. Face mask softness. This slider controls how hard or soft that boundary is. Higher the number, softer the boundary and vice versa. Next we have the emotion section. The parameters here influence the general emotion of the mesh and the animation. Each source shot is a pre-shot animation with a particular emotion. The source frame is one frame from the animation which is used to influence the lip sync animation. And in the last section of network, we have basically the neural network which we are using to do the lip sync animation from the audio. Um, we only have one neural net for now, which is male high v1. And the processing time is basically the latency of that particular neural network. I'd like to try more neural networks when they come out in the future, but for now we are only stuck with one of them. Now, since I am a roboticist, I needed something objective to measure the perceived performance of the parameters. So I recorded myself speaking out loud the Harvard sentences. It is a collection of sample phrases that are used for standardized testing of VOIP systems. I will put a Wikipedia link in the description for anyone interested in taking a look at what they are. Here are what my tuned parameters look like in the lip sync animation compared to the default values. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Rice is often served in round bowls. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. The box was thrown beside the parked truck. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. Four hours of steady work faced us. Large size in stockings is hard to sell. These are the values I used which I feel were quite good for my animation. Feel free to copy them or tweak them to your own liking. You are your own boss. Do share the links to your animations in the comments. I would love to learn if there are magic numbers which work here. Once you are happy with your preliminary animation in audio to face, it is time to move on to Unreal Engine. Check out my previous video if you don't remember how to export the animation. Once you have Unreal Engine open, you might come face to face with a scene like this or something else depending on your choices. I tell you, this is one big ass RPG. But anyways, this project is from the last video. So I already have the MetaHuman imported. I think I still need to import the animation and the audio file though. First I am just gonna let my MetaHuman compile. I'll open the blueprint for the MetaHuman, go to viewport and hit compile. 
Not sure if I really want to use the default scene, so I'll go ahead and create a new level. Delete those cause they are a bit distracting. Bring in the meta, rotate it and hone in on the face. I already have an animation folder where I can bring in the assets, so I'm going to import the facial animation first, that's the USD, face archetype skeleton, ok, we have the creepy smiling head with the working animation, what we need is basically for the head to look like that and then have those lip sync animations over it. So just keep in mind the general facial configuration. Importing the audio for the animation. Now we need the level sequence. So animation and level sequence and open that up. Bring in the audio, we don't need that for now, screen real estate is such a luxury I tell you. Track, active the sequencer, blueprint, that brings in the metahuman. Just making a general note of the facial configuration for this stoic or neutral look. Cool, we will try to recreate that so that we might have a bit better looking animation. We don't need the facial control rig. Click face, track, animation and get the animation you want. Now it is important that we use control and scroll down to see the entire animation duration and bring that out to set it as active. Next we need to convert the animation into a facial control rig animation. So click on face, right click, bake to control rig and face control board control rig. Do check the active region because that is the only part which gets baked. Do that, create and voila. Now you can see that there is a facial control board rig with a whole bunch of keyframes. Delete the animation, we don't need that. Now to animate on top of this, go to selection and choose additive. So now you have another facial control board rig with a clean slate. To animate, you can select that and then make the changes. That's what a normal person might look like. Click anywhere, left arrow to go all the way up the hierarchy, one selection down, shift end to select all the points and hit enter to add keyframes at the location of the playhead. And now if you hit space, 
we have a not so hideous animation this time. So that works pretty well. But I think we need to focus a bit more on the pronunciations around the vowels, especially O and U because of that rounded shape the lips need to be in. For example, in this bit where it says bowls, we need to see the O shape of the lips which is not there in this animation at the moment. So from this position here, it needs to bring the lips together and then open to make that bow shape and then carry on. So what we can do is at this point, click there, shift and select all, enter to enter keyframes, move one frame forward, make him close his mouth here. So something like this. or this or this or Yeah, that looks about good enough. So I go to the top, shift and enter. One more thing, just so that we don't affect the animation of the later stages, we need to keyframe the end position of the word or syllable we are animating. So at the end of the word bolts, I'll just do this. And we need the mouth to close here and for that we can do this And now we need the O, so we can do We can do this maybe Or Ah okay, blow the lips a bit
I should have watched that video from the guys at Unreal. We are looking for a way to get... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, I think I can get away with that. Do keep in mind the frame rate of your animation. Mine was at 60 and I am not respecting that here. But if you need a smoother transition, please don't forget about that. Let's see how it turned out. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Rice is often served in round bowls. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. The box was thrown beside the parked truck. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. Four hours of steady work faced us. Large size in stockings is hard to sell. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments or if you have any doubts or issues. I will put the link to useful videos in the description. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.